Um, I'm sorry for the background noise. I have a lot of little boys at my house and they are being extremely loud out there in the living room. So they're just going to be screaming the entire video. Um, so what I'm doing here, I just watched a video. It was called, um, what was it called? like Gothic Wardrobe Essentials. Um, but yeah, so I, yeah, I just wanted to do that, I don't know why. Um, so this video, it's mainly for baby bats, people who are just getting into goth, and don't really, really know what to do. So, first things first. What I first started off with, okay, well, here we go. This is a fishnet top. This is the most. This is what you need to become a first. This is what I wore for the first like four months when I first started dressing in golf was a band t-shirt, leggings, and these every fucking day. So these didn't get washed for like three months straight, but it's fine. It has holes in it, so it doesn't really count. Um, but yeah, these will go with everything. Um, yeah. So I got this at Hot Topic. Um, you want to make sure that you get it in your size or a size smaller because this was the last size they had and it's one size big for me and it doesn't look good and it's annoying. And everybody asks me, aren't they supposed to be tiny? And yes, they are. But So make sure you get them in the correct size so that they can probably, or else it just looks kind of stupid. Um, but yeah, so I got these at Hot Topic. There is a lot of different of versions of them but you need fishnets that's yeah um so i'm just gonna start out with what i um got so first things first last year summer what i got first thing of my goth wardrobe here i was a mall goth so this is it's a dress here it has where are they it has straps that go around the body here, and it's kind of overall type. Um, I got this at Hot Topic as well. Um, now what I would pair this with would be fishnets underneath it. Um, yeah, but this, it's a good goth outfit for starters, and it's pretty, but they, goth dresses are expensive. They are expensive. So this one, I'm not sure how much it was, really, but they do normally range from about, like, I don't know. Like, if you're getting it from somewhere expensive, it's probably going to be, like, 50 to to $100. But this one, I think I got it for, like, 40 at Hot Topic. Um, yeah. So that's what I started out with. So now... These dresses are a great thing to collect, and they're a real easy outfit. Now, another thing, okay, yeah, another topic here would be band shirts. Now, I realized that I only have Marilyn Manson <laughs> band shirts, but I'm working on it, okay? I'm, I'm poor, and yeah, so this is band shirt. You could do lots with it if you want to make it fancier. Um... You can do lots of, you can cut it up, um, look for Angela Benedict on YouTube, she has a lot of DIY shirts, like, this is hers, and it was just plain black shirt, and now, it's gorgeous, but yeah, so you can cut up t these t-shirts, um, I paired them with fishnets for a long time, I, I still do, you can wear them alone or whatever you know do whatever you want but these are essential now this is not really a band t-shirt but it's just a nice easy thing to find um it has color so if you want to ease into your transition or you just want color this is a maroon shirt it says rock it's pretty and it can go for a t-shirt um so what you do Pair it with some fucking fishnets. That's what you do for everything cough. Pair it with some fishnets, lace underneath something, you know, and it's real easy. 
Uh, so shirts like this are handy. I got this for five dollars at Walmart, bitch. Um, now, uh, plain black shirts. That's a very easy thing. I have them everywhere. Um, now I had, I had these plain black shirts before I transitioned, but yeah, you get the point. Plain black shirt. You can turn it into something. You can cut it up. Um. But yeah, they're they're very good. But if you, yes, they're very good. Just make sure you wear a lot of accessories with your plain black t-shirt, or else you don't look too goth. Um, now it's also good to have some just like little fancy tops around. I had this one before my transition as well. So this, you can't see it, but fuck. <laughs> um. Well, it's just a black tank top. It's flowy down here. Um, and it's got like lace detail up here and buttons. And it's simple and pretty. You could wear that on itself. Or you could just pair it with some fishnets. Or something like that. Um, yeah. But that's an easy goth outfit as well. So you need some tops. Okay. You need some just easy tops like that. You can find a bunch of this crap at the thrift store. Um, so now I'm going to move on to pants. So now, all that's really needed, a lot of goth people, well, goth girls, choose to just wear um, skirts or dresses. Um, but if you do choose to wear pants, I, all I really wear is black leggings. But I do have some fancy ones that I want to show you. So these are plain black leggings with fishnets on the bottom. Fuck. Ta-da! It's just a little fishnet square. A little fancy, change things up. And then here's some also, here's some also, here's some also black leggings. And they just have like, little, that detail on the bottoms. And yeah. You can also wear jeans, make sure they're black, and you can wear play black jeans, I have a pair of those, or I have no clue where I got these. Um, but these are black jeans, and they have holes and fishnets in them. Um, oh, fuck, this is hard to show because they're all black, but... That's that. Now, if you are one of those girls who likes to just wear um, dresses and skirts, I'm going to show you that. So now, you can, these are, you need long black skirts. Now, this one, this one is, um, it's like a velvet skirt. It's real pretty. This one, it's a little bit too short on me and a little too small, but I'm going to figure out something to do with it. Um, so yeah, just long, flowy, black skirts. Find them at thrift stores. They're a lot cheaper there. You can find them. Yeah, thrift stores are pretty good for them. But they're pretty. Lace and velvet. You want to look out for those too, because those are pretty as well. Um, and also, just get some cute little skirts. This one, it's just a black skirt. It has bats on it. has bats on it and I got this from a thrift store as well um so yeah just skirts are great find some black skirts um and you can leave you can wear those skirts um without anything underneath there but this this is a goth staple doll and it will make your outfit look like 10 well 100 more times goth I'm out of breath from getting up. Um, but, so, these are ripped tights, ripped holy tights. Um, they're essential. You need these. Now, I, what I do, I get some fucking pantyhose from the dollar store, and I rip them up with scissors. Um, Toxic Tears, she has a really good tutorial on how to do that. And, yeah, so I'm not gonna bother showing you. But yeah, so look up Toxic Tears. She has a video on ripped fishnets. They are, they are very 
very good. <laughs> and also just wear some black, oh my fuck, just wear some black tights or have some pretty, you know, detail on it. Just, you know, or you can go without tights. Um, now another thing is, um, oh, okay. You also need a leather jacket. This was also one of the first things I got. For my little goth years, my baby bat, the first thing I got, it's my baby. I can't wear it right now because it's summer. I recommend going without a coat for summer because all black and heat is not good. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one, it's just a leather jacket. You can get any style or kind you want. And you can bling it out as well. You can put like spikes and shit on. Um, yeah, it's cool. But yeah, leather jackets are good. Um, oh, okay. Another, another thing that is also pretty good to have on handy. Oh no. Oh, here it is. Now, my mother is a great mother. So, she gives me her old stuff. Um, so what I have right here is just a little corset. Now. Corsets are very, very good for goth girls, but they're expensive. They're very expensive. The leather ones, they're so pretty, but they're so expensive. So, my alternative, my mother gave me this. It's just a black corset. It's lace. doesn't really have any boning in it, and it just clips up at the back. Um, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so you can wear this over your clothes or under you know it's it's a good staple <laughs> um yes and shoes now before i get into the real fancy shoes um when i first started off wearing combat boots you need some combat boots those are the basics and essentials <laughs> But once you get a little bit more into it, you can get more advanced. Now, I didn't buy any of these. My mom gave them to me. But you have to take advantage of situations like that. Like, random shit just close, so, random shit just shows up in my closet. And it's mine now. Um, so yeah. So this is just another thing. I had these before my transition as well. Just little cute boots. They got little... So these are great for goth. Now let's get into the fancy shit. Now, between you and me, these are actual stripper boots. They came from a stripper, um, and they were passed down to me. But they are goth boots. Um, so now my pride and joy. I'll show you these ones. Oh no, where's the other one? Hold on. Oh, here we go. My pride and joy. So these are actual stripper boots, but they are beautiful. So now things like these are great. Oh my god. They hurt very, very much, but they are gorgeous. Um, yeah. So big, tall, long black boots, stripper boots, the gorgeous stole. Now, I also have another pair of these, but shorter. These are kind of, they kind of remind me of, like, witchy boots. So, if you want to feel a little witchy, you know, just another heel. Um, I also have these over here. It goes to a schoolgirl outfit, but it can look goth, okay? You just gotta be careful not to look too slutty. Alright. So, these... These are, you know, they're just, my mom wore them, wore them when she was a goth teenager, and also while she was stripping, I think, actually probably not when she was stripping, but these have a, um, a matching little skirt, and take advantage of things like those. Ow. So this is another goth skirt here, and this has a tie, matching tie, but I don't want to wear that little skirt um but yeah back to the essentials these are not the essentials they're just great luxuries to have um 
But yeah, if, okay, what you need, if you got the money, um, big platform gorgeous boots. Look up on Killstar, um, yeah, Killstar? Star? That's what it's called, Killstar. <laughs> Go to Killstar, uh, website and look at their shoes. That is the kind of shoes you need. They are so gorgeous, but I'm poor. <laughs> yeah. But those will make any goth wardrobe give that bit extra, give it its extra oomph. And it just looks gorgeous. I am so fucking fat. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You need lots of accessories. My accessories aren't here right now, but you can go to, um, like, uh, <laughs> Jesus shops and look for rosaries. Those are really nice. Rosaries are really good. Um, yeah, just, you know, and a lot of it, it it's really, you know, I don't know, look for, <laughs> chokers are really good, accessories, um, you don't really need to wear earrings, to be honest, earrings aren't really that special, but necklaces, those are where it's at, um, so layer some stuff, and just bling out, don't be afraid to look extra, <laughs> because it'll look better. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I really have here for you with the essentials. Um, now, after you have, you know, your fishnets, your panties, your dresses, your skirts, um, you can really branch, you can go up. Um, now, most of us, okay, to be goth, it's expensive. It ain't cheap. Um, so thrift stores are very, very good. You need to hit up the thrift stores. What you need to look for is lace, velvet, and black. Um, yeah. And then you can also go to, um, Angela Benedict's channel. And she shows you how to do so many t-shirt DIYs. And you can take something that's plain. A normal person would wear it and turn it into, uh, like, the most beautiful goth piece ever. Um. So, yeah. That's just kind of my my take here okay <laughs> goodbye <laughs>